All right, hello everyone. Gary Ryan here for the Fed League Flash for Sunday, September 15th. And we're talking attendance, attendance projections for the upcoming season. The big question, okay, we have three more teams than last year and attendance has been on a major uptick the last couple of years. Can the Fed draw a million fans? Seems like a big number. The SP has done it. Now, granted, most of the arenas in the SP are larger and uh, you know, they're more established clubs. But the SP has drawn a million in a year. Is it the Fed's term to be able to cross that threshold? We'll find out in just a few minutes. Now, I want to talk briefly about the growth of the league. All right. Um, 22, uh, the 2022 to 23 season was a great year. Um, first, well, second year, really, that the Fed had 10 teams. First year being the 2019 to 2020 season that we talked about yesterday. And of course, things got cut short. Um, I did a rough projection as far as how many fans would have ended up coming to the turnstiles during that year. I came up with about 520,000. In the 22 to 23 season, attendance was 630,000. That's how many came through the gates. Last year, we added an 11th team and 698,000 fans came through the gates. All right. So almost 700,000 fans already. And we got three more teams. So, you know, this year, is it possible? It's possible. Um, first of all, uh, there are more teams with larger barns that are in the league. All right. So that helps. Um, briefly, I want to mention um, there it, it, last year, two teams crossed the 100,000 fan mark. That was Binghamton and Baton Rouge. All right. And, and Columbus was just short, 99,000. Um, for a team to draw 100,000 in a year, they have to average 3571 in attendance per game for the year. Now, last year, there were five barns that had a capacity of that amount or bigger. This year, it's seven, all right, seven teams. Um, we have Baton Rouge, we have Binghamton, we have Columbus, Mississippi, um, Monroe, uh, Athens, once that arena is completed, that seats 5,500 people. And now mathematically in the equation is the Blue Ridge Bobcats seating for 3650 per game in the Hitachi Energy Arena. All right, so there's seven teams that mathematically could get 100,000 fans. All right, uh, is that going to happen? No, I don't think in the case of all seven. But I do think four teams are going to cross that benchmark. That being Baton Rouge, Binghamton. I think Columbus crosses the line this year and gets over 100,000 fans. And Monroe. Uh, Monroe is a shoe in as far as I'm concerned. Um, the, the, the demand for season tickets was so overwhelming. That place is going to be jumping. Um, I can't see Monroe not drawing 100,000 fans. And that would be a huge, huge benchmark for uh, for a first-year team, just as it was for Baton Rouge last year. All right. So let's go through, team by team, real quick. In green, the number of fans drawn per game last year. In black is the capacity. If their capacity allows for that 100,000 mark to be reached, it's underlined. All right. In blue... What I project uh, based on things like social media activity, uh, fan excitement, um, you know, what's going on online as far as the buzz about a team, uh, competitiveness, uh, rivalries, all those things factoring in, um, I've been able to make a rough projection of what I think each team can reach with uh, attendance this year. Um, it's going to be a very competitive year. Every team, well, 12 of the 14 teams are going to be ultra competitive this year uh, and realistically have a shot at the playoffs. All right. Um, 
and that's going to help. Uh, the talent level in, continues to increase in the Fed each year. It gets a little better each year. So I think it's going to be a good draw overall. So let's go for, through the first five teams. And I started off to going through the Empire Division. Everything's alphabetical. Starting with Binghamton. Last year, Drew 39.56. Um, capacity, 48.93. I project this year with the excitement of a team returning after a championship win and vying for a repeat, I think the attendance is going to tick up a little bit to 4,050 per game, which would put them at 13, I'm sorry, 113,400 fans. For Danbury, uh, I want you guys to prove me wrong. I, I just, again, I'm basing this off of activity online that I see. Uh, it doesn't seem that there's quite the excitement level this year as there was last year uh, in Danbury. So I've projected a slight downturn, but and, and I'm not saying this is a challenge. I'm saying this is an invite. Please, 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 please prove me wrong. All right. Bump this number up. Bump this blue number up. All right. Last year, there was a huge uptick. 2,077 per game, an arena that the website says 3,050. Most fans tell me, no, nah, it's closer to like 2,800. The pa they're you know, really packing the place, more like 2,800. So I see 1,950 per game. Again, please prove me wrong. Please. Um, that puts the attendance at 54,600. The Dashers, uh, it's tough. Um, you know, they had a very bad experience with the Dashers, the first Dashers getting pulled out from under them, uh, under their feet. The, the whole debacle with the Bobcats, um, and things weren't well. <laughs> um, also, it's rough this year because the team was announced very late. So there hasn't been a whole lot of time for marketing and uh, advertising and whatnot. There hasn't been a whole lot of activity on social media, so I'm a little concerned. Um, when they were in the Fed the last year, 2019 to 2020, they were averaging 1034 per game um, in an arena that seats 2350. Uh, I'm hoping 700 per game, uh, just because, again, there hasn't been a whole lot of interaction with the team with fans in the area, and that concerns me. Um so I'm thinking it's going to take a little time for the community to warm back up to the Dashers. So I'm saying 700 per game. That puts them at 19,600. For the Hudson Valley Venom, a lot of questions are because of the fact that the arena, when the team was announced, only sat 400. Now, immediately, the team said, we're going to expand seating. We're going to put in temporary seating. Capacity will be somewhere between 1,000 and 1,500. We have no idea. I haven't seen any pictures of the inside of Ice Time Arena. I have no idea how things are going to look. I'm planning conservatively that it's going to be 1,000 fans per game capacity. All right. So I'm, I'm saying they can draw 650, 000, uh, 650 fans per game uh, just based on... You know, they had the APHL team in that area win the championship last year. Hopefully the excitement of now a team at a higher level coming in uh, and playing, hopefully that draws in the fans. 650 in a barn that will say seats 1,000. That would put them at 18,200 for the year. All right, Motor City. All right, it's tough to compete when you have big four sports franchises in your area. And you're competing for time and attention uh, to an FBA, FPHL team when you've got the Red Wings and the Tigers and the Lions and the Pistons all vying for people's attention. Uh, if you don't know, Fraser is just to the northeast outside of Detroit. Very close. It's a suburb of Detroit. It's part of the Detroit metropolitan area. Anyway, last year they crossed the 1,000 fan plateau. Uh, 1016 per game uh, in an arena that seats 3,200. I'm hoping, I think they can get to 1,200 this year. There's a lot of excitement. The, you know, Babs is back. The, most of the team is coming back. Uh, the team played very well last year. 
So hopefully that draws fans in. So anyway, uh, 1,200 per game puts them at 30, uh, 33,600. Let's move this over and look at the next column. All right, for the Port Huron Prowlers. Um, I know a lot of people have said McMoran seats more than 2,200, not since the renovation. Um, the, the recent renovations that took place, they, they put in bigger, better seats. Um, not a bad seat in the house. It's, it's, it's a beautiful old style barn that doesn't feel old style. A very comfortable place. Uh, so 2,200 is their capacity. Last year, they drew 1,276, which was the mo second most that they've drawn in any year as the Prowlers organization. Um, so I think they can bump that up. I think they can get to 1,400 per game. That puts them at 39,200. Watertown, we all know it's a small community rink. They've done what they could with it to uh, you know, get as many people in there as possible. We saw a couple of sellouts last year, 1,500. Um, actually one was standing room only one game was 1600. Um, so, uh, anyway, um, small community rank seats, 1500 last year, they drew 893 per game. Um, I think they can bump that up to 950 this year. That would put them at 26,600. All right. So that puts total capacity for a uh, total draw for all seven teams in the empire at 305,200. All right. Let's go to the Continental Division. Athens, brand new arena, beautiful, beautiful building. I'm sorry, ticket prices, way, way, way too much, too expensive. And I think that's going to seriously hold them back. Um, I, I think a lot of people will come just to, for the curiosity factor, see pro hockey in their town for the first time, see this brand new arena. I mean, the place isn't yet finished. Uh, they still are about three months away from completion. Um, so, yeah, um, beautiful building. Um, anyway, seating capacity for 5,500. I think they end up, I think they can get to 2,600 per game. That would put them at 72,800 for the year. All right, next, the Baton Rouge Zydeco. We know what they did last year. There, and, and I tell you what. Based on what I've been seeing online, there's a ton more excitement about the team this year than there was last year. People are starving for good quality hockey, and Baton Rouge is going to be an improved team this year. Last year, they led the league in attendance with 39.58, um, and an arena that seats 8,900. 8, I think they hit 4,300 based primarily on Again, improved product on the ice and the big rivalries with Monroe and Mississippi. So I think they're going to hit 4,300 per game. That's 120,400 fans per game uh, per, for the year. Excuse me. Blue Ridge, beautiful new barn. You've probably seen, uh, seen either the post I've shared or the post the team has shared. Beautiful, beautiful uh, seating. 3,650 now, the capacity for uh, Hitachi Energy Arena. Uh, last year, they drew 1296. First year team, uh, uh, first first year market. I mean, it's a brand new hockey market. And they ended up drawing 1296, ended up uh, seventh out of 11 teams. So they outdrew four other teams. Uh, fantastic job by the Bobcats organization. This year, with the excitement of Again, an increased pro or an improved product, increased seating, better seating. I think they hit 1650 easily. Um, that's the number I'm going to go with. That puts them at 46,200. All right, got to change boards. All right, last four teams. Uh, Carolina. Um, every year, Carolina leads the league as far as percent to capacity. Um, Carolina, the fans. They're nuts. They're crazy. I love it. Um, last year, they drew 29.39 in a barn that fits 31.50. Um, I think they're going to be pretty close this year. 29.50 is what I'm projecting. Uh, 82,600 for the year. Columbus, um, nice big barn. Beautiful barn. Great team. Uh, they, they look pretty good again this year. Uh, last year, 
just short of the 100,000 mark. Uh, they drew 35, 38 per game. Uh, and in an arena, the seats, 72, 59, they had a sellout. So uh, this year, I think they hit 36, 50 uh, per game. That would put them at 102, 200 for the year. Uh, Mississippi. All right. Um, the thing that hurts Mississippi is those darn parking fees. The cost to park at the Coliseum is, is outrageous. Um, and that kind of hurts ticket sales. Um, but I'm hoping that, you know, a, a, a better team, uh, again, draws in the fans. Um, Mississippi, I have, uh, last year they, they drew 26.84 in the barn. They, uh, seats 91.50. Huge place. I think they can hit 2,900 this year. That would put them at 81,200. And then Monroe, we talked about Monroe. I mean, 3,000 plus season tickets asked for immediately upon the announcement of the team. And uh, yeah, <laughs> 3,000 season tickets sold. Um, now, I've seen conflicting reports. Um, I've seen it said that the barn seats 7,600 people. Uh, it looks closer to 5,600, and that's uh, some of the other sources that I that I accessed said, yeah, 5,600. So conservatively, I'm going to go with that. But that barn is going to be mostly filled most nights. I think they lead the league in attendance. 4,450 per game is what I'm projecting. That puts them as the biggest draw of the league, 124,600 fans for the year. And as you see, 630,000 fans for all the Continental Division teams. Again, larger barns. So we come up just short. I'm projecting 935,000 fans for this year, which is fantastic. Again, prove me wrong, please. We can hit the million mark. All right. It's just a question of this year or next year. If it doesn't happen this year, it's definitely happening the next year. Uh, but yeah, that's an uptick, by the way, 237,000 fans more than last year. And last year was a record, almost 700 fans, uh, 700,000 fans. So probably won't hit a million, but never say never. So that is my attendance prognostication for this upcoming year. All right. Let me know what you think. Is this real? Uh, is this realistic? Are these numbers realistic in your minds too? Do you think that teams can do better? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and on the uh, Flash Audio Network. If you don't know what that is, go to my Facebook page. Pinned up at the top is a list of all the links for all the different audio platforms available to listen to the Thursday podcast. All right. So there you go. Again, tell me what you think and please prove me wrong. All right. I'm Gary Ryan for the Fed League Flash. Thank you so much for watching and for all your support. We'll talk to you again soon.